we're going to race that. Welcome to this episode of Heartbreak Garage and this time it's champagne motoring on lemonade money and a few days ago Mrs Black Hands broke down. Bear with me, I'm just finishing off the Easter eggs from the Easter weekend. So she broke down with a flat tyre and we removed the spare wheel. Upon removing the spare wheel, the jigger bot ropey thing that winds up and fixes the spare wheel to the car broke. So I now can't put the spare wheel back in. So I've got a new aftermarket one which is much cheaper than the original one and we've got this from our friends at LR Parts Liverpool. There's the website. £55.64p excluding that as low as so if you need one you need to go and see them. So we're going to be fitting this to the Range Rover and uh, getting it on there and comparing the difference between the OEM one that was fitted from the factory and this Brit part equivalent and seeing how they go together and whether it fits alright. If it don't fit, don't force it. We're going to need some of the old WD-40 from the holster by the front door. So here we have the two items and they're more or less identical. As you can see, we've got exactly the same hook, exactly the same clamp piece. The plastic guide is identical, although the rivet in the brick part one is smaller than the rivet in the Land Rover one. The main difference apart from them one being broken, one not, is this one has got a big nut driver on it which makes it much easier to lower and raise the spare wheel and this has got one that you put your hooky thing through for your jack and you wind it back in two so that's realistically the only difference so the the main difference is the Land Rover one would be much easier to and quicker to use in the event of it needing it in a flat tire scenario this one would take you a lot longer to wind it down this one wouldn't that's about the long and shorts of it. But this one is many, many, many hundreds of pounds. And this one is about 60 quid. So I'm going for the 60 quid one. And uh, we're gonna now we're gonna fit it back on.
safe to fight another day. So what did we use to make this happen on this Sunday to make our lives a little bit cheaper and better? Well, first of all, we used a knife to open the box that the parts arrived in from LR Parts Liverpool. We used a quarter drive ratchet with a deep 10 mil to get the bolts out. We also used a lot of WD-40 because it's rusty under there, it's shite, no one really looks after them and they just get rusty. I do need to get under there and give it a scrape down and a rust treatment, I know, but it ain't going to happen this weekend. So if you want to comment on how rusty the back of my Range Rover is, feel free, I know. She's like a sheriff's badge. But there you go, if you don't fit, don't force it. Thank you for your loyal service.